guys! We are at the end of the month, which means that Christmas is just creeping up right at the corner and there are so many arts and crafts and DIY projects that we can do for Christmas time but I wanted to share with you one that you actually have to do before the month of December. This is actually a really cool and cute gift idea or just something that you want to make for yourself. I always love tea and I love drinking tea during the winter times and also the fall season. So David's Tea always comes out with their annual advent calendar. So I decided to make our own DIY David's Tea advent calendar, which is right here. I'm pretty excited. It's really cool because you can actually customize this box in any way, shape, or form that you like. And you can put different things inside. You don't have to put just teas. So there's 25 different teas in here. And I actually have only 24 because 24 and 25th, I just made the same day because we celebrate Christmas on the 24th or that night of. Let me know if you guys are going to be remaking this awesome advent calendar, whatever it may be. It could be for tea or it could be for anything else. And um, please share all your recreations with me on my Facebook or Instagram. And don't forget to check out my other gift ideas for the holidays that are coming up. So let's get started with this tutorial. So this beautiful box right here I actually got from Dollarama which they sell for $3. Again, they don't sell everything for a dollar there, it's crazy. So we want to make the base for our teas and luckily I found this nice cardboard box that actually fit just perfect for the box that I got from the dollar store. But any type of cardboard or foam board would work for this project. So I cut the sides out and then I'm also going to cut a little bit at the bottom just so the box or the cardboard will sit perfectly in the box. Awesome, so now that we have that, we're gonna move on to these little tins right here, which I got from the dollar store, and they were actually six for $1.25, so they were pretty cheap. I cut out the flaps on them, but that's completely optional. That might actually help you take them out of the cardboard later on. So before buying any types of containers, and you can buy like square ones, there's so many different kinds, you just have to make sure that you can fit all 25 of them in your cardboard. The placements are completely up to you because it depends on the size of your containers but after you figure that out you can go ahead and cut it and then make sure that your containers actually fit in them. The next step is to paint your base and I just picked black because I really want the colors to pop out. You can customize the lid colors to whatever you like. You can do patterns or you can even paint the lids just like I did with some of mine. You can free cut your circles if it's easier for you. You can also buy a circular hole puncher that I got from Michaels, which was about 20 bucks or something. If you did cut out circles, then you can go ahead and glue that with a glue stick. And I got these numbers from the dollar store and you can also go ahead and write it yourself, but I really like the glittery numbers and they're so cute. Okay, so now on to the best part, which is actually putting the teas in. Um, I have several different types of teas, loose leaf teas that is. So I have a lot that I can put in here. And I also got a super hot deal on these blooming teas, which actually turns into a flower when you put them into hot water. You can actually fit regular tea bags in this container I already tried. And this project would actually go so well with my DIY Polaroid tea tags that I did a while back. So check that out. You can also get creative and put hot cocoa powder or whatever else you may want to put in those containers. These are just the cutest gift idea and the ones at David's Tea, they sell for $40 Canadian so it's quite pricey. And you don't have to just put tea so you can work with any budget you want. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like this tutorial and if you want to see more fun DIYs, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys later. Bye!